Hey guys, this is Clint from Jeff from ZomaGuyCG.com and here's a quick overview of the Nokia 600 that we've had to play with for a couple of days. Um, I've posted camera samples on the blog already, but here's a quick look at the hardware and a little bit of the software too. So as you can see, there's a capacitive touchscreen on this um, Nokia 600 which runs on a 1 GHz uh, processor with Symbian Bell on top. There's a earpiece, the front-facing camera, and ambient light sensor right there, proximity sensor too. Um, there's a red calling key right here, which is also used as the power key, not something I like too much, but that's what it is. Um, a menu key right there to open up the menu, and a green calling key right there. On this side, you have the screen lock key right there, Whoops. Uh, volume keys right there, and a dedicated camera key. Um, over here we have the 5 megapixel camera with a single LED flash, a huge loudspeaker, Nokia says that the 600 is their loudest phone to date, um, and nothing on this side. At the top we have the standard Nokia charger right there, um, a USB port with a very fuddy duddy little cover right there, I'm not, too, I'm not a big fan of the cover. Um, let me try and close that for you. Okay, you know what? I can't. I can't do this. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's a cover right there and um, a 3.5 mm audio jack right there. And um, at the bottom, you just have a tiny little inlet for the microphone pinhole. So yeah, that is the hardware. Um, coming to software, it runs Symbian Bell, which is, of course, the latest version of uh, Nokia Symbian operating system. Um, You'll see that things are mostly this, the same, yet they are different. The home screen is now draggable right there. Um, there are a couple more widgets that you can add. Um, and widgets also have different sizes, as you can see from the little home screen right there. With different, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, you have the calling button right there in the center. Um, you'll see that even the little icons on the taskbar are, are, are separate right now. This is the um, options key which is always present and there's also the back key. But there are also a couple other things like um, like these things for example. So yeah, um, that is pretty cool. Then you have the menu key right there which can also be used by tapping the menu key right there. Um, which shows you the grid of icons. Now, Symbian Bell doesn't actually come with any folders, but you can create folders, but Nokia has preferred to keep all the icons right on top because I know for a fact that some of my friends are too, well, they don't understand that there can be folders on their phone, so. So it is uh, interesting to see that Nokia has given up on folders, has put all the icons right on the home screen, right, there, uh, right on the main menu right there. Um, everything is mostly the same, the contacts are arranged in the same way like they are before. There's also Microsoft Communicator pre-installed and group support as always. Um, there's also the same old messaging thingamajig right there. Um, you can tap and type in landscape or in portrait, if I can kind of get it going. Um, so that is very cool. Apart from that, you also have the web browser, which is more or less the same as Symbian Anna, but a little bit different. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi right now, so I can't show you, but Basically, things are a lot improved, a lot faster than before. Uh, moving on, there's the gallery, which shows you all your images in a nice little um, proper view right there that you can expect. You can also share out of the box to Facebook and Twitter. I'm going to say no right now. Um, and a couple options right there, like setting it as your wallpaper or adding to an album or something like that. Um, so yeah, this is very nice. You can see the translucent little bar right there, very cool. Um, definitely a lot better looking than previous versions of Symbian. The calendar app looks exactly the same, a little bit different at the top right there. Um, mail, again mail, I haven't set it up on this, but mail looks exactly the same too. Um, a little bit nicer uh, thanks to the Symbian bell modifications. The OV store is as good as it always has been. Uh, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, there are a couple things which uh, work, some things don't work yet um, I don't have an internet connection so I can't show you but yeah um, the OV store works fine the, all the apps that are in there work just great um, there's the videos I don't have any videos unfortunately or do I? oh no I don't 
Um, the video plays exactly the same. We can play DivX out of the box though, which is something that's quite nice. Um, the music player is slightly improved. If I can show you um, how it is arranged right there. Very fast and you just tap on something and you play the... So yeah, the um, loudspeaker as you can hear is very loud. Um, and even the the whole Symbian music player has gotten a little bit of a refresh. There's your skip and repeat buttons right there uh, and a shuffle button too. And the options button which gives you the usual things that you're used to. So yeah, um, definitely like the new look for the um, well, minor new improvements to this to the music player. It also is a little different in portrait as you can see. You can also go through that right there. Um, but it is nicer in landscape. So yeah, moving on. There's a universal search um, which lets you search through things on the phone. Um, if I want to type a contact name, for example, it will show me a contacts number um, and there's OV maps. OV maps exactly the same as it is before um, as, it's, as the latest version um, on the Nokia Beetle apps website so nothing really different right there um, and then there's settings okay so there are some new things in Symbian Bill and there's some new things in the Nokia 600 and the Nokia 700 and 712. Um, for one thing NFC is new um, NFC is definitely something that we found is very useful um, to send stuff on. You can switch it on or switch it off from there. You can also ask before receiving if you prefer. Um, just to demonstrate how NFC works, I'm just gonna go back to the gallery right there and open up an image. Let me open up this image, yeah. Now I can take my trusty little Nokia 700 right there. I'm gonna unlock that. I'm just gonna tap it. Say yes. So yeah, you just tap them together like so. And it's supposed to move, but it, oh, there you go. So yeah, so it's sending it to this phone right now, and that's how easy it is. You just tap them together and that's it. Um it is a little clumsy though if you are not too sure what you're doing, like in my case right now. But yeah, it, it works fine um, so yeah definitely like NFC that's one of the coolest things about the Nokia 600 um, apart from that um, it also can play the radio without requiring a headset if I can just show you the radio app really quick um, the radio app can doesn't require another headset plugged in like all the other Nokia phones right now you can just um, play it together so yeah that is uh, very cool Yeah, um, Indian FM isn't actually much to play, but there you go. So, uh, so yeah, that is the Nokia 600 then. Um, so yeah, we have a better review on our website on zamagaycg.com, but if you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below. Mostly everything else is exactly the same. Um, the camera interface is slightly different and a couple other things, but yeah. Um, so yeah, check out the detailed review on zomaguyscg.com if you have any questions about the Nokia 600 or the 700 or the 701. Do let us know in the comment section or on the blog.